Hey students, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn the topic linear inequations from the subject mathematics. So let us see what is a linear inequation. Linear inequation denotes inequality, which means that the expressions on the left hand side and the expression on the right hand side are unequal. That is when you plot the given equation on the graph you will find that the data are not equal and they do not give you a proper graphical representation. Linear inequation looks exactly similar to that of linear equation but the only difference is that it is being replaced by an inequality sign. It could be less than, it could be greater than, it could be less than or equal to, it could be greater than or equal to which we will see when we solve the sums. There are few rules which we need to understand before we move ahead with the sums. The following rules are first that if in a linear equation left hand side is less than that of right hand side let us say here A is less than B then if you add the same number on both the sides let us take it as like 3 is less than 5. So if I add 2 on both the sides like 3 plus 2 and 5 plus 2. So in that case also the sign of inequality will not change because again 3 plus 2 gives you 5 and 5 plus 2 gives you 7. So still 7 will be greater than that of 5. So through this you can try understanding what the rule states. Second is if the element on the left hand side is less than that of right hand side. Subtracting the each side from the same number will not change the sign of inequality that is the sign of inequality remains the same similarly when you multiply again the sign of equality does not change next if you divide both the sides of a linear inequation by the same number that is positive number this direction of the inequality sign will not change it will remain the same Similarly, if you multiply both the sides with a negative number, that is say minus 2, minus 1, etc., then the sign of inequality reverses. Okay, if, say for example 3 is less than 5. Now, if you multiply both of them into minus 1, then it becomes minus 3 and minus 5. So, in this case, I cannot say that minus 3 is less than minus 5, right? So, the sign reverses and it becomes minus 3 is greater than minus 5. So, if you multiply both the sides with a negative number, then the sign changes. Next, if you divide both the sides with a negative number, and in this case, we are dividing, then the inequality sign changes. Let us see how the sums work. Now in this case they have given us a linear inequation that is 5x plus 3 is less than equal to 2x plus 18 where x belongs to n that is n is your a set of natural numbers. So we start solving this. Here you need to apply simple rules of transposition. So we are taking the common terms together. So 2x gets transposed here so it becomes 5x minus 2x 3 goes there so 18 minus 3 I get 3x less than equal to 15 again 3 is here moving to the right hand side so here it is multiplied so here it becomes division so 15 divided by 3 gives you 5 simple mathematical calculations so it gives you 5 so here I can say x is less than equal to 5 so this equal to means that x will also have 5 as the value okay if it was only x less than 5 so we will not be including 5 therefore a solution set becomes 1 2 3 4 and 5 why are we not taking 0 the reason being is it states natural numbers and natural number starts from 1 so that is the reason we starting with 1 2 3 4 and 5 because it mentions equal to also. Let us see the next sum. 3 minus 2x is greater than equal to x minus 12. Again here we have to represent it in the form of natural numbers. Now here again we will apply the general rules taking common together. So minus 2x, x comes here, 3 goes there and it becomes negative there. 
so minus 3x greater than equal to minus 15 now see here what is happening when we change the signs here both are negative so I am changing them to positive so whenever you change the sign of either side or any of the side moving it from one side to the other the inequality sign reverses so if you see here it was minus 3x greater than equal to minus 15 but when I tried removing the sign the inequality sign reversed so here it became x less than equal to 5 so the set becomes x is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 see the next linear inequation here it says 25 minus 4x is less than equal to 16 taking terms common together so minus 4x 25 moves there so 16 minus 25 so here I get minus 4x less than equal to minus 9 that is removing the negative signs from both the sides in that case the inequality sign reverses so it becomes x greater than equal to 9 by 4 that is x greater than equal to 2.25 so here we don't have to represent the solution set only we had to find out the solution or the value of x now looking at a next variety of sum here it says minus 5 less than equal to 2x minus 3 which is again less than x plus 2 so here you need to divide the sum into two parts okay so one will be minus 5 less than equal to 2x minus 3 and the second will be 2x minus 3 less than x plus 2 so we will uh, solve it separately so here i am solving the first part and in that case i get the solution as x greater than equal to minus 1 and solving the second part separately here applying the rules i get x is less than 5 so means x is less than 5 but it is greater than equal to minus 1 so means x will range from minus 1 0 2 3 4 okay we have missed here it is 1 so it is minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 but here we are not including 5 reason being is it is less than 5 if it would have been less than equal to 5 then we would have added here 5 also but in this case since it is only less than 5 so we will end our solution set till 4 in this case you have to represent the linear inequation on a number line so i start solving it so 2x less than 5 plus 1 2x less than 6 so x is less than 3 so here it is less than 3 not less than equal to 3 means the numbers that we are going to represent will be less than 3 that is it will end at 2 so here we make a number line and here I make a circle this is an open ended circle why is it an open ended circle expressing that 3 is not included ok and the value starts from 2 till infinity so here I have just represented till minus 3 ok taking the next case 3x plus 1 is greater than equal to minus 5 3x is greater than minus 6 x is greater than equal to minus 2 now here I see that x is greater than equal to minus 2 means minus 2 is also included so minus 2 is included therefore the circle here is colored which means that minus 2 is including and therefore the value starts from minus 2 till infinity ok again in this case we have got 3 parts so we will be dividing the inequation into 2 so 1 becomes here minus 5 less than equal to 2x minus 3 and second is 2x minus 3 less than x plus 2 I am solving them separately here I get the value of x is greater than equal to minus 1 and x is less than 5 so means we will not be including 5 but a number less than 5 that is 4 but in this case we will include minus 1 because it mentions that it is greater than equal to so therefore the circle above minus 1 will be closed that will be colored which means minus 1 is included extended till 5 means 5 is not included so means the solution set starts from minus 1 to 4 now in this case they have given us a linear inequation and they are asking us to express it in the form of a less than equal to x less than equal to b okay we need to first simplify the linear inequation so let us start doing it dividing it again into two parts 
so solving it separately i got the value as x is less than equal to 4 and x is greater than equal to 3 now writing it in this form okay so x is in the middle okay and then it says greater than equal to so x is greater than equal to 3 so 3 comes on the left hand side and x is less than equal to 4 so this comes on the right hand side therefore i get my equation in the form a less than equal to x less than equal to b therefore here my a becomes 3 and b becomes 4 so it is very very easy you just need to simplify the linear inequation and represent this in the given form and you get the answer therefore the value of a is 3 and b is 4 another variety of sum here they have said 5 is greater than p minus 1 greater than 2 okay again you will solve it into two parts and you get the answer as 6 is greater than p greater than 3 on the other hand they have said 7 less than equal to 2p minus 1 less than equal to 17 again on solving you will get 4 less than equal to p less than equal to 9 okay now here i am getting again two values for p i need to convert it into 1 okay so if i see here the lowest value okay of p will be greater than 3 okay so i am putting here 3 p is greater than 3 and also the highest value here given is 9 that is equal to and less than 9 so i'll put it here so now i can represent the value of p ranging from 3 to 9 so it is very easy you just need to understand the lowest value and the highest value given so the lowest value is 3 so you put it here highest value is 9 so you put it here accordingly you put the signs now looking at this sum they have given minus 1 by 3 is less than equal to x plus 2 plus 1 2 by 3 less than equal to sorry less than 5 1 by 6 so it's a mixed fraction so first thing you need to do is convert it into a simple fraction i am solving it into two parts again so one part is being solved here and the second part is here on solving you get the answer as minus 6 by 3 less than equal to x by 2 and for this you will get x by 2 less than 21 by 6 so next step what i've done is i've taken lcm here now how do you take an lcm we know that the lcm in this case will be 6 okay so converting everything by taking lcm so i'm converting the denominators 6 so here i simply get minus 12 by 6 3 x by 6 and less than equal to 21 by 6 so means this i can represent as now 6 gets cancelled so it becomes minus 12 less than 3x less than equal to 21 again we can divide whole equation by 3 so what i simply get is minus 4 3 gets removed from here remains x and 3 gets divided again so it gives us 7 so it is very easy you can do it directly also no need to solve it in these steps but this was for your understanding you could directly solve it in simpler form but it is always better once you convert it into a common denominator that is when you take an lcm so here when i get the solution as minus 4 less than equal to x and less than 7 and they say that x belongs to whole numbers so here therefore the value i write is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 i am not going to include 7 reason being is it says less than 7 and also i am not taking minus 4 minus 3 etc reason being is it is a whole number and whole number does not take into account the negative numbers next is natural numbers if it is a natural number set then it will start from 1 2 3 4 5 6 next if it is an integer so we will also include minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 ranging till 6 and if it is a real number then we will also include 7 but here 7 will be non-inclusive on the number line that is it will be exclusive on the number line hope you all enjoyed the session and uh, do like share and subscribe the channel also if you have any questions you can mention them in the comment section 
and do let us know the topics you want us to make videos on and keep studying and keep growing all the best and thank you